Hello, this is Ray Main here again with today's Bible reading. Today we're going to be reading in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 43. And it came to pass that when Jeremiah had made an end of speaking unto all the people all the words of the Lord their God, for which the Lord their God had sent him them to them, even all these words, then spake Azariah the son of Hoshai, and Johanan the son of Korea, and all the proud men, saying unto Jeremiah, Thou speakest falsely. The Lord our God hath not sent thee to say, Go not into Egypt to sojourn there. But Baruch the son of Neriah setteth thee on against us, for deliver us into the hand of the Chaldeans, that they might put us to death and carry us away captives into Babylon. So Johanan the son of Korea and all the captains of the forces and all the people obeyed not the voice of the Lord to dwell in the land of Judah. But Johanan the son of Korea and all the captains of the forces took all the remnant of Judah that were returned from all nations where they had been driven to dwell in the land of Judah, even men and women and children and the king's daughters and every person that Nebuchadnezzar Adan, the captain of the guard, had left with Gedaliah, the son of Ahikam, the son of Shaphan, and Jeremiah the prophet, and Baruch, the son of Neriah. So they came into the land of Egypt, for they obeyed not the voice of the Lord. Thus came they even to Tophanes. Then came the word of the Lord unto Jeremiah and Tophanes, saying, Take great stones in thine hand, and hide them in the clay in the brick kiln, which is at the entry of Pharaoh's house in Tephanes, in the sight of the men of Judah. And say unto them, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will send and take Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, my servant, and will set his throne upon these stones that I have hid, and he shall spread his royal pavilion over them. And when he cometh, he shall smite the land of Egypt and deliver such as are for death to death, and such as are for captivity to captivity, and such as are for the sword to the sword. And I will kindle a fire in the houses of the gods of Egypt, and he shall burn them, and carry them away captives, and he shall array himself with the land of Egypt, as a shepherd putteth on his garment, and he shall go forth from thence in peace. He shall break also the images of Beth Shemesh that is in the land of Egypt, and the houses of the gods of the Egyptians shall he burn with fire." Well, you remember we said uh, in the last chapter, here are these guys, uh, he knew ahead of time, and, and Jeremiah uh, prophesied to him, said, I, I know you're not going to listen. This is what God told him, tell him. He said, if you go down there, this is what's going to happen. But now if you'll listen to me, well, I'm going to save every one of you. But he told them ahead of time that they wasn't going to listen. He told them ahead of time what was going to happen, and sure enough, here we see that they're receiving a proclamation, a sentence of what is coming to them because they disobeyed God. Now the question I have for you today is how many times have you disobeyed God just here this week, here in the last few days? Are you listening to God? Or are you bound and determined that because you're not hearing from God what you want to hear, that it must not be God, it must be a false uh, narrative, so to speak. Are you bound and determined to have your own way so that you won't listen whenever God tells you? Uh, it doesn't end well, folks. Consider that. Until next time, may God bless you.